A recent Huggy survey found that almost half of Kiwi adults recall a frightening childhood water experience. And Water Safety New Zealand data shows hospitalisation of children under five due to accidental immersion in water more than doubled in 2016. Now to help parents know what they can do to prevent this, please welcome to the cafe Carla McCorn and Liz Metz. Welcome guys. Thank you. Thank you. Absolute pleasure to have you here. Uh, Carla, let's start with you. Those stats pretty frightening in a country that is actually surrounded by water. Why is it so bad and what does it actually mean? Yeah, it's staggering, isn't it? I mean, any drowning is obviously tragic, mm. um, particularly when a young child is involved. Oh, yeah. mm. um, every parent's worst nightmare, really. But, you know, the hospitalisation stats from uh, near drowning are equally disturbing. So uh, 42 in 2016 mm. is 42 too many. And especially when we know that most of these are preventable. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's where the Huggies initiative is, is really important. And, um, and we're really excited about that and, and what Huggies is doing here. So it's bringing together swim schools like YMCA, hmm. um, Plunkett, Huggies, Parenting Centre and Water Safety New Zealand with that joint vision of achieving zero drowning in our under five age group. So what needs to be done? So what we need to do is we, we say teach the children, educate the parents and change the culture. Mm -hmm. So teaching the children is about making sure our young ones know they only hop into water when they've been invited to do so and that they have a parent with or an adult with them actively watching them. Educating the parents is all about making sure that the parents know the need for active and constant mm -hmm. supervision and what this actually looks like. We can't be watching them in the water as well as playing on our phone, checking Facebook or Or talking to a friend even. Or mm. chatting to a friend. Mm. We've got to be fully focused. You have to be following them with your eyes like this while you're doing Absolutely. conversation, Watch them like you? a yeah. hawk. And we think then we'll start to see some generational change. And that's where things like those early water confidence lessons that Huggies are supporting through swim schools like YMCA are so important because we get to work with the parents and with the kids at the yeah. same time. Um, Liz, what are some of the barriers to parents getting their kids these vital lessons? Yeah, Mel, you mentioned that survey of Kiwi parents mm. that we conducted. One of the questions we asked is, have you done a water safety class with your baby? And 55% of them said yes, and that was exciting to see. But what was equally alarming to us is 45% said no. Yeah. And when we asked why, they told us the biggest barrier was cost. And so we knew immediately it was a call to action. And we were looking for partners and a great partner and people like Carla and the YMCA mm. came forward. So what's Huggies doing to help us support those families? Well, the great news is together between uh, Huggies and YMCA and Swim Magic, we are offering 50 baby swim scholarships for babies to learn how to swim safely with their parents all across New Zealand. Well, that is great. And in addition to that, the other barrier that we heard about was cost around having the appropriate swim pants. Mm. So we're gifting over 4,000 Huggies little swim pants, uh, little swimmers, to all the parents who might need them. And it allows parents to be compliant with the water safety requirements of the pools. Yes. But in addition to that, on the back, we work with Plunkett to develop some safety tips as well. That so is very, very good. This is good. a great reminder to parents. It talks about those tips mm -hmm. that Carla just mentioned about how to be safe near and around the water. And I love the fact that you're getting Michael Phelps involved with it. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh, yes. Please. Yes, that was a great partnership. So world champion, Olympic champion Michael Phelps came forward and raised his hand. He has a huge passion in this area. And he helped us put together a water safety video. And you guys are going to have a take a look at that, right? Yeah. And in that right video, it, the fantastic thing is that he and his wife, Nicole, get in the water and start playing with baby boomer. And they're teaching baby boomer how to be safe around the water, how to be confident, how to blow bubbles. So they're teaching them water confidence and water safety, but they're also having a ton of fun as a family. That is wonderful. What a wonderful initiative. And uh, let's hope we can prevent drownings with our children because, it's, uh, yeah, you're right, any statistic about drowning is just too high. A wonderful initiative. Thank you both so much for coming in today. If you'd like more information about anything that you've heard, head along to the website, huggies.co.nz.